Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 animals that are no longer on the endangered species list. These days, it's easy to feel like the world is a depressing place where nothing good ever happens. Bombs explode, war trundles on, the politics gets more polarized, and the future looks about as black as it can be. No wonder we wake up each morning reaching for the Xanax. But not everything has to be a non-stop horror show of mind-numbing misery. In the shadows of the natural world, far away from where headline writers' prying eyes can glimpse them, a number of animals have been undergoing a remarkable resurgence. Even as we devastate the environment, in places like Indonesia and China, we humans have gradually been helping select species tiptoe back from the edge of extinction. Desperately need proof that not everything is doom and gloom? Well, look no further than this video. And in at number 10, the giant panda, no longer endangered since 2016. The giant panda is the poster boy for endangered animals, literally. The World Wildlife Fund, WWF, uses an image of a panda in their logo. Know what else the giant panda is? Not even close to going extinct. As of September 2016, the most famous endangered animal on the planet is no longer actually endangered. When the WWF first picked the panda for their logo in 1961, the species had nearly vanished. Although a handful of wild pandas remained, they were so rare conservationists had no idea how many were actually left. It took decades to reverse their decline. First, poaching had to be cracked down on before some douche nozzle hunter could blow away the last panda in the hope of making a quick buck. Second, a whole load of wildlife reserves had to be set up to protect their habitat. China today has 67 pandas under reserves, protecting 14,000 square kilometers of habitat. Thanks to all of this effort, panda populations have been growing at an encouraging rate. By 2004, there were around 1,500 living in the wilds. Fast forward to today, and that number is over 2,000. While the giant panda is still on the vulnerable list, it is thankfully no longer teetering on the brink of extinction. Number 9. Chatham Petrel – No longer endangered since 2015 90% of you just saw the name Chatham Petrel and said something along the lines of, What? The remaining 10% of you are from New Zealand and know exactly what we're talking about. A bird species native to the remote Chatham Islands, an archipelago some 650 kilometers east of Wellington, the petrel is found nowhere else on Earth. And well, that's a problem because the Chatham Islands have a new kid on the block, the broad-billed prion. If you don't know the prion already, well, it's the kind of hipster bird that likes to rock up in the neighborhood, scoop up the affordable property and probably open a craft beer joint or two. But while human hipsters doing this merely breed resentment, the prion leaves the petrel nowhere else to go but the grave. With its nesting site stolen, the petrel dies. It dies so hard, in fact, that in 1995 its population numbers dropped to a mere 600. Thankfully, New Zealand's birders are nothing if not inventive. Faced with this looming petrageddon, they simply gathered the birds up, took them to a new island without prions, and left them there to get on with it. As of 2015, the petrel's numbers were sufficiently restored to downgrade it from endangered to vulnerable. Number 8. Louisiana Black Bear – No longer endangered since 2015 it's not often that we celebrate the survival of a murder machine that could tear us limb from limb, but the Louisiana black bear is different. For one thing, it's a unique subspecies that's celebrated as the state animal. For another, it gave us a template for children's plush toys for decades to come. The Louisiana black bear is where we got the name teddy bear from. This is thanks to a now largely forgotten incident involving President Theodore Roosevelt. In 1902, Roosevelt decided he was going to shoot a black bear in rural Mississippi. Roping in an expert bear killer named Holt Collier, who had killed over 3,000 bears, the president set off on a hunt that lasted a stupid amount of time. With Roosevelt unable to find a bear, his assistants eventually got hold of an injured one, tied it to a tree, and invited the president to shoot it. Roosevelt refused, saying that it was unsportsmanlike. When news of this incident reached the Capitol, a cartoonist for the Washington Post drew an image of the president refusing to shoot an adorable, fluffy little creature. The public went nuts for the image, leading to sales of toys based on it. And with that, the teddy bear was born. Nonetheless, the Louisiana bear itself was nearly extinct. In 1992, only 150 remained in the wild. Two decades of conservation efforts have since boosted the population to over 700. Number 7. Delmarva Peninsula Fox Squirrel No Longer Endangered Since 2015 
1967, the federal government passed something known as the Endangered Species Preservation Act. The first legislation of its kind in the US, the act required states to list animals in danger of dying out and make some kind of effort to save them. Originally containing 77 animals, the list read like a roll call of the nearly dead and dying of America's fauna. Near the very top of it sat the Delmarva Peninsula fox squirrel. A large gray squirrel, the fox squirrel, had been led to the brink of extinction by intense logging and overhunting. By the time it was protected in 1967, its range had dropped to 10% of what it had once been. Its survival chances weren't helped by the fact that its habitat was almost entirely on private land and stretched over three different states – Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia. If there's one thing harder than herding cats, it's getting homeowners in three different states to turn their lives upside down just to save a tree-based rodent. Yet, that is exactly what happened. After nearly five decades of concerted effort, fox squirrel numbers had bloomed to over 20,000. They now inhabit 28% of the peninsula and are expanding all the time. Number 6. Stellar Sea Lion – No Longer Endangered Since 2013 on the cold, rocky shores of western Alaska lives one of America's greatest native creatures. The stellar sea lion is a huge beast, a gigantic mess of blubber and fur. Able to range down to central California, a distance we decided is best expressed as a lot, it's a species that is impressive in every sense of the word. Yet it wasn't always this way. As recently as 1990, the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, was convinced the stellar sea lion was about to go extinct. At the time, the stellar sea lion population had been hit hard by centuries of hunting, repeated environmental disasters, and crashes with trawler ships, which hit them hard enough to turn them into mulch. It also seemed unlikely that they'd ever recover. When an animal lands on the NOAA fisheries endangered list, it generally only comes off by actually going extinct. Prior to 2013, only one species had ever recovered enough to be removed, when the North Pacific gray whale unexpectedly bounced back in 1994. Well, to that small list, we can now add the stellar sea lion. In 1979, there were only 18,000 left. By 2010, there were over 70,000. With the population growing by over 4% each year, it seems likely that the stellar sea lion has now been permanently saved from extinction. Number 5. Arabian Oryx – No Longer Endangered Since 2011 11. The Arabian Oryx has the dubious distinction of being the only animal on our list to actually have gone extinct. In 1972, some nameless jerk took his rifle and shot the last one, killing the entire species stone dead. And that was it for the grand, stately beast that had once ruled the vast desert wastes of the Arabian Peninsula. Or at least it should have been. But for once, fate was smiling on a dying species. As the population dwindled, a few ultra-rich princes in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Abu Dhabi had taken a handful of the beasts to keep as curiosities in their royal collections. At the time, this probably seems like a totally douche move to those trying to preserve the wild population, but with all wild oryx dead, having a few spare in captivity no longer seemed like such a bad idea. In 1982, Amman created a special reserve to get these oryx breeding again. Fast forward to today, and there are now over 1,000 oryx living in the wild. It probably helps that the oryx was a symbol of ancient significance on the Arabian Peninsula. Long used for their ability to smell water from several kilometers away, it was seen as a matter of region pride to revive the noble creature. We doubt this would have been the case if it had been the Arabian fartworm that wound up going extinct. Number 4. Lake Erie Water Snake – No Longer Endangered Since 2011 the turnaround in the fortunes of the Lake Erie water snake is nothing short of incredible. In 1999, it was considered so endangered that the US Fish and Wildlife Service listed it as on the brink of extinction. By 2011, a mere 12 years later, its population had rebounded enough to remove it from the list altogether. That's such a crazy quick recovery that we almost feel like there must have been a mistake made somewhere. Native to Lake Erie, duh, the Lake Erie water snake has the double misfortune of living near wasteful humans and looking like a nightmare monster that people instinctively want to kill. Honestly, the number one reason the FWS listed for its plummeting population was humans seeing it, freaking out, and killing it with anything they had on hand. Yet, despite looking like something that comes crawling out of a newly opened vault in the final act of a horror film, the Lake Erie water snake is actually pretty harmless. Just don't go putting anything dangling and sensitive in their mouths, and you should be absolutely fine. Number 3. Grey Wolf – No Longer Endangered Since 2011 
So now we come to probably the most controversial cast member in our little eco review, the North American Grey Wolf. A proud creature that roams the back forests of the USA, the Grey Wolf was placed on the endangered list way back in the 1970s and stayed there for the next 35 years. In 2011, the US FWS announced that the wolf had rebounded, with over 5,500 now living in the contiguous United States. It was at this point that things really began to heat up. The declassification of the gray wolf was contingent on the FWS reclassifying eastern gray wolves as a separate species. However, a scientific study claimed that there was no evidence to back this up. Things got pretty heated. Well, about as heated as an argument about species subclassifications can ever be said to get heated, like we're pretty sure or there won't blows exchanged or anything. The scientific spat aside, it's beyond doubt that the grey wolf has seen something of a resurgence. Once hunted almost to extinction, they are now finally creeping back into the forests of the USA. Number 2. Brown Pelican No longer endangered since 2009 from the point of view of the brown pelican, the entire mid-20th century was little more than a protracted attempt by human beings to kill its relatives off as quickly as possible. Pesticides became more common in the US, and farmers and governments began spraying just about everything with DDT. Harmful to humans, DDT was nothing short of an apocalypse for brown pelicans. The poor birds ate poisoned fish, got sick, and died with alarming rapidity. Those that survived started laying eggs with thin, useless shells. These shells cracked at the slightest movement, killing the unborn chicks inside. As a direct result of this global pesticide party, the brown pelican's population numbers went into a tailspin. By 1970, they were endangered. Thankfully for humans and pelicans alike, the use of DDT became pretty taboo by the mid-1970s. Eventually, the US banned it altogether, with the sole exception of using it to combat malaria. Its habitat no longer coated with poisonous chemicals, the brown pelican was able to finally rebound. Finally, in 2009, the FWS removed it from the endangered list altogether. Number 1. Indian Rhino – No longer endangered since 2008 a few centuries ago, life was looking pretty sweet for the Indian rhinoceros. The great beast roamed the entire north of the subcontinent, from modern Pakistan to Bangladesh via Bhutan. They numbered in the hundreds of thousands, if not the millions. They were big, impressive, and seemingly unstoppable. Then in the early years of the 20th century, big game hunters decided they'd make perfect trophies. Within 70 years, this once robust population had been reduced to a mere 600. Come 1975, the rhino was extinct in Bangladesh and Bhutan and going that way in India. It was only by a phenomenal effort that the decline was stopped before they were wiped out altogether. Habitat protection and anti-hunting laws were beefed up and heavy penalties brought in for any poachers caught trying to bag themselves a rhino. For a while, things were tough, but eventually they began to improve. By 2008, the rhino population was back at 3,000. Not exactly staggering, but a heck of a lot better than 600. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right are a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.